The biggest high school basketball game ever in El Paso. Beller takes on Andrus tomorrow at the Haskins Center. ABC 7's Darren Hunt is live from the Haskins Center with a preview. Yes, stand by. Right. Rick and Estella tomorrow night. Andrus and Belair, which is practicing right now, will live out a dream on this floor with a state with a spot in the Class 5A State Elite Eight on the line. Dream come true to play in the Haskins Center. Yeah, I mean, we've always dreamed of playing like in a big stage when you're smaller. It's always been a dream of mine, and it's finally coming true. When Coach Rob Deibler's undefeated Bel Air team takes on one loss Andrus, coached by former Olympian Jim Forbes in the Haskins Center with a spot in the state Elite Eight up for grabs. Many, including El Paso's own Joe Fan, believe it will be the biggest matchup ever between two El Paso teams. This is on par with some of the greatest, do you think, high school sports accomplishments ever here? No doubt about it, when you got two teams ranked four and five in the state in class of 5A, it has to be considered one of our most outstanding achievements. Who's ever heard of an El Paso basketball team with no losses overall, 32-0, and Andrews having only one loss, 30-1? and That's just unheard of in any sport. It's just an un unbelievable accomplishment. Don't know if it's ever been done in, in boys varsity El Paso history. It is my alma mater, and, uh, and I'm happy for them. It's fitting the game is being played right here in the Don Haskins Center. Coach Dibler's dad, Bobby Dibler, played for Coach Haskins in the 1960s. And Coach Forbes, who played at Bel Air High School, played for Coach Haskins in the 1970s. If, if you look around at the coaches across this, the high school coaches across the city, in one way or another, uh, Coach Haskins um, has affected those coaches. Coach Haskins' influence is, is, is definitely alive and well in the city. Now, YISD and EPISD are splitting the $6,000 cost for the arena and gate receipts, and they are expected to make money on this game because it's such a historic contest. Rick and Estella. Should be a lot of fun, Darren. Thank you very much. Again, that game's tomorrow night. And MSU gets.